Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Kelvin's Kitchen. Today we're making the best Italian wedding soup I ever made. To begin, in a large pot of a medium heat, add in 4 tablespoons of olive oil. Then we are sautéing in mirepoix, which consists of 3 celery stacks, 4 carrots and 1 large onion diced. Now sauté the vegetables until they are softened and the onion becomes translucent. Season with a pinch of salt and sauté for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then, after 12 minutes or so, pour in 8 cups of chicken stock. Let the pot come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to medium-low. Continue simmering at a medium-low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make some meatballs. Now, in a mixing bowl, add in 1 pound of ground turkey followed by 1 cup of freshly grated parmigiano reggiano, 1 cup of panko breadcrumbs, 1 large egg, 2 cloves of garlic minced, 1 teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley, kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Now, with clean hands, go ahead and mix until you get all the ingredients evenly incorporated Using a cookie scoop, scoop out the meat onto a plate to get even sized meatballs. Once all the meat has been scooped out, go ahead and shape them into meatballs just like so. And before you add the meatballs in, taste and adjust salt and pepper to your liking. Then add the meatballs to the soup and let them cook for about 10 minutes. And while the meatballs are cooking, let's make some pasta on the side. Over medium high heat, bring a pot of water to a boil. Season the water with a pinch of salt. Add in 2 cups of small pasta and cook as per package direction. Once the pasta has cooked, drain and transfer to a bowl. You may add a splash of olive oil to prevent the pasta from sticking to each other. You will know when the meatballs are cooked because they will begin to float. Once the meatballs are floating, add in one small head of escarole cut into bite-sized pieces. Go ahead and mix to incorporate and let it cook for another 5 minutes. Now turn the heat off and serve. After you have served the soup, add some of the pasta to the bowl. And to finish it off, sprinkle freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Yo, check this out, I think. Now you are ready to eat. There you guys have it, the best Italian wedding soup I ever made. Enjoy, buon provecho, and thanks for watching. Bye!